Hello and welcome to the MV500 slash 510 regulator rebuild tutorial. In this rebuild, we will be taking apart our regulators, replacing the insides, and putting them back together. In a standard MV500 510 regulator, there are the same parts, and we will find a cap, a spring, a thrust plate, a plunger, a 108 O ring, a seat with a 010 O ring, and a body. And there might be brackets, and there might be maybe washers, but in general, those are our main parts. The only difference between the MV500 and the MV510 is the ports. There are two side ports on the MV500, while there's only one on the MV510. Otherwise, their insides are the same. In our rebuild kit, we will have a plunger with the accompanying 108 O-ring, a seat, and the accompanying 010 O-ring. The tools I would recommend using for this rebuild are a towel and a small screwdriver. Now let's take apart our regulators. It'd be best to have all the fittings off, that'll make it the easiest, but then you have to get the fittings back on, so whatever works for you. I start by taking off the cap, unscrewing that, and with the cap I put the spring and the thrust plate. I keep those together. We won't be replacing those, so I keep those together, and next to grab is the plunger. You can reach in there and grab it with your fingers. Since you're replacing it, you can use pliers, and it might damage it, but it's okay to damage the old one. So we'll grab that out, and with the plunger, there should be that 108 O-ring, and you can take that off if you want. You're replacing both those, so it doesn't really matter. And inside there is a seat, and this is where you want a small screwdriver. If you come from the bottom of the regulator, you can reach that through the bottom there with a small screwdriver and just kind of poke it out little by little. You are replacing it, so damaging that seat won't be a problem. If you don't have access to that bottom port, you might need something with a hook or another tool to get that out of there. Let's reassemble your parts from the kit. So we'll take the smallest, thinnest O-ring and we will stretch that around the seat. With that in place, we will grab our other larger O-ring and put that on the thinner, the lesser diameter region of the plunger. There's a divot that it fits nicely into. With those together, we can put our seat down into the regulator pocket, and you will want the ring side of the seat to be facing out of that pocket so you can see it when you look down in there. The plunger will go next, and the longer, thinner end will go down into the pocket, the recess there. With those two in place, we can turn our regulator onto the thrust plate spring cap combination. This is the time where you would put washers into the cap. If you have them, I would not recommend just adding washers for the fun of it. So with my spring down into my cap and the thrust plate resting on the spring, like so, with the pointed center going into the spring, I will turn my regulator seat plunger o-ring combo onto that cap. And I will slowly twist and then twist it the rest by hand. This has been the MV500 slash 510 regulator tutorial rebuild. If you have any questions, please share the videos, give us a call here at PumpTech, or visit our website. Thanks and have a great day.